Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video, we're going to cover passage links, that is, links between passages. In this example here, we can see on the story map, the beginning, the passage, is connected to another passage, the end. Opening up the content of the beginning, we see four different ways to create passage links. The first and more, most traditional way is to have some text, some connection of characters and letters and punctuation between two opening and two closing brackets. And this will connect on our story map this passage to another passage. In the second example, we see the use of the bar. The bar here allows us to write something in front of that, not the end in this case, that then connects to another passage. Instead of showing the name of that passage, it shows the text in front of the bar. However, note that the name of the passage has, runs right up to the edge of the bar. If I add a single space here, and then close this, an additional passage will be created, because the story map understands now, or thinks it understands, that is, that another passage with a space in front of the end, single, single space here in front of the name, now needs to exist. If I delete this, the story map shows us as now a broken link. Coming back into the beginning, I can get rid of this extra space that I didn't need, and now the story map, closing this, will be restored. The two other examples here are a way of using the arrow syntax and creating passage links. Using the arrow allows us, like the bar, to write some text that then points to some other passage using the arrow. In the first example, we have the text is at the end with a question mark pointing to the passage at the end using the right arrow syntax. The text, like in the bar, precedes the left, then there is an arrow pointing to the right, and then the name of the passage to link to, in this case, the end. This final example shows the other way to write this using the left arrow. We can start with the passage, the end, use the left arrow, and then the context or string we want here. Is it the end? And then it points to the left, that is the passage to that to the left, within this right here. And the four of these are different ways to create passage links in Twine. The other thing to note is that these are universal across the built-in story formats in Twine 2. All of these work the same, but may look slightly different depending on the story format. I can demonstrate that now by first showing the demonstration in Harlow, which is my default here. Notice we click on any of these and we go back to the same passages and we can click back and forth because these two passages are connected. Closing this and now going down to the story menu, changing story formats, to snowman, closing this, playing this again, we see the same thing. Now it looks slightly different because the story formats influence layout and stylistic choices, but the functionality is the same. Coming down here one more time to the story menu, changing the story format to now sugar cube. And we see again, functionality is the same. Passage links work across all built-in story formats. Changing this back finally to Harlow. We can close this, reopen this, and we see again, the passage syntax for creating Passage links is the same across all story formats. We can either include the name of a passage in opening and closing brackets, use the bar to create text in front of that link, remembering that the exact name has to follow, or using the arrow syntax to point to the right or point to the left, depending on how we want to create passage links within a passage. This has been a review of passage links within Twine reviewing the four different ways to create them, using either the name of a passage, using the bar to create text in front of that name, or using the arrow syntax to point to the right, including the name in that passage link, or point to the left, including the name first in that passage link. All these are different ways to create passage links in Twine. Remember, of course, that it's universal across all built-in story formats in Twine. We can use it in Harlow, we can use it in Sh Sugarcube, we can also use it in Snowman. All of them work the same across all story formats, and all of them are consistent across these four different ways to create passage links in Twine. Thanks for watching.